cats, corgis, call me maybe. In case you haven't noticed, the internet always seems to be obsessed with something. But why is it some things go viral and other things don't? To find out, I came to Boston, where I'm going to go talk to Dr. Carl Marcy from Interscope Research. Let's go on. So we apply principles of neuroscience using biometrics and eye tracking to measure the unstated responses that shoppers and audiences and, and viewers and consumers have to all kinds of media marketing stimuli. What kind of responses are you talking about? So in particular, we have a biometric belt, which uh, we're going to talk about in a little bit, uh, that measures four channels of medical grade information. Heart rate, skin sweat, respiration and motion. And we often combine that with state-of-the-art eye tracking. And then we combine those in various ways to measure uh, engagement. Can't wait to see that. Uh, should we go and look at the device? Sounds like fun. Interscope believes that non-conscious emotions direct attention, enhance learning and memory, and ultimately drive behaviors. And the way we measure non-conscious emotions is with this biometric belt. This collects the electrical impulse of your heart. Second, uh, respiration. There are stretch receptors built into the fabric of this belt that allows us to capture the rib cage as it moves in and out with exquisite sensitivity. Um, next is motion. There's actually motion sensors in this medallion. It's what's called a three-axis accelerometer, which means it can tell forward, up and down, and side to side. And then finally uh, is uh, skin conductance. And the best place to measure skin conductance is the palms of the hands. And so there's one wire that goes through the shirt and goes onto the non-dominant hand and collects the electrodermal activity, sort of the arousal and, and the activity that the central nervous system is creating that we capture in the palm of people's hands. Let's just snap right on like that. You're good to go. Cool. All right. We're good to go. So Jeff, these are your four channels. Uh, the top one, HR, stands for heart rate. Um, you can see that you're a fit guy. Do you exercise a lot? I, I've been known to. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this, this is suggesting your resting heart rate's pretty, pretty low. The second one, GSR, stands for galvanic skin response, uh, sometimes referred to as electrodermal activity. Um, so that, that's, that's this? Exactly. Those are those two wires there. OK, Jeff, uh, feeling comfortable? I am. Good. OK. OK, whenever you're ready, we'll get started. I'm, okay. I'm all ready. All right. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are f***ing great. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. I mean, I was just listening to your to your Weird Al um, podcast the other day, and you know, so you were sort of setting up this contrast between that you identify more with like a rock punk uh, subculture, and he's kind of the god of this like nerd subculture. Okay. All right. You surprised me with that last one. Yeah, that's the point. We can begin over here. So here you can see during the Old Spice there was a, a, a big step up. Um, yeah, during the Old Spice that that started, it looked like it was just going to be a boring household product commercial. And That's then right. there was sort of a twist. So did I show a big jump in uh, attention measures yeah, at that moment? Yes, you did. Uh, and then that jump right there is actually where you went up during the Old Spice. Can I see the graph for, or, or the uh, results for something like that uh, Dollar Shave Club, which was, I mean, that was an incredibly viral ad. Everybody uh, yeah, let's take a look at that one. sharing that and viewing it. Here's the end of the, the wrap. And then here's the dollar shave. Oh wow! So those are big spikes right there. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a it's a great ad. I, I also had a similar response, and I had never seen that before. And you know what's interesting is that the ad it goes through these um, these very sort of noticeable progressions of you know there's a, a sequence of scenes, and you can see a spike each time it goes into a new scene. Absolutely, and that gives you an indicator of how how sensitive. Uh, this this device really is because it's really capturing that that ebb and flow. Then when you combine heart rate, which really also gives you a sense of of the magnitude and a little bit of the valence too, it tells you whether that's an a, an approach or an avoid response. Most of what you saw, what we saw in you, were accelerations. So you had these these big accelerations as information became more relevant, followed by a deceleration as you begin to concentrate. Yeah. And so that that dynamic is is very subtle and something we look at uh, a lot. And then, of course, we had the, the, the biggest spike here when your interview came on. 
uh, one of the things that we often talk about is that uh, we have a very powerful relevance meter. And what's more relevant to us than ourselves? Yeah. So uh, at the end of a demo reel, we like to show either some pictures or a video, if it's available, of the actual person we're demoing, because it's guaranteed to get a response. Because, like I said, what's more relevant than you? I think, I think if you had an embarrassment measure right there, you would have seen that that one was spiking too. <laughs> so our, our, our bodies really reflect uh, the, the power of emotions. And when we say something like it tugged on our heartstrings, that's because it really does. Mm -hmm. 